Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce ABS function on RC6GS, which is also called parse brake. The function is similar to the brake in rear car and can prevent the wheels from locking up or even losing control. It is a commonly used function in reading transmitters such as all versions of RC6GS and RC4GS. I will take RC6GS V3 as an example in this video. Here is RC6GS V3. Enter the menu and first I reset the transmitter to better show the function. Enter the menu. Number 8 ABS and mode here. If you want to turn on ABS function, set the mode from inhibit to on. And all the values below can be set based on different cars. ABP stands for the amount of brake return. It defaults to 50, which means the servo will return 50% or half of the travel of trigger when ABS is turned on. And go back to server display and push the brake. We can see the brake is jumping between 100% and 50%. And you can also set and you can also set other parameters according to your needs. For example, when you set it to 30, the server will return 30% of the travel of trigger. DLY stands for the delay from brake operation to ABS operation. It defaults to zero, which means the ABS function is activated with no delay. And when the value is set to 50, ABS function is activated after a delay of about 0.7 seconds. When the value is set to 100, ABS function is activated after a delay of about 1.4 seconds. For example, I set it from 0 to 100 and push the brake. We can see there is a delay of ABS function. And the CYC stands for cycle speed. The smaller the value is, the faster the pulse cycle speed. And it defaults to 5. We can see the pulse speed is fast just now. And if I set it to higher, such as such as 30 push the brake we can see the pass speed is lower and TGP here stands for trigger point the position of the trigger that activates ABS function it defaults to 30 And I push brake slowly. We can see the ABS is not working now. But once the servo reaches 30, ABS function is activated. Now it is working. And DTY stands for cycle duty ratio, the proportion of the time the brakes are applied and the time the brakes are released by pass operation. And the ratio can be set from minus 3 to plus 3. Minus 3 means the shortest brake activation time and plus 3 means the longest brake activation time. It's hard to show in the transmitter. You can test it with your real model. And STM stands for steering mixing, that is to see ABS operation can be set on or off according to the steering operation range. Off means the steering operation has nothing to do with ABS function. You can also set from uh, E10 to E100. 
For example, when you set the value to e50, and the ABS function will be triggered when the steering servo value exceeds 50. Yeah, go back to the server display. We can see ABS function is not activated now. But now slowly turn the wheel. When the steering servo reaches 50, ABS function will be turned on. Now it is working. And you can also set STM to N10 to N100. For example, when you set the value to N50, ABS function will be triggered when the steering servo value is within 50. And I push brake slowly. You can see ABS function is working. But when the steering servo value exceeds 50, ABS will not work. The steering servo is more than 50, the ABS function is not working. So, so that's all about how to set ABS function on RC6GSV3 or RC4GSV3.